All right, so a lot of people have been asking, how do you use uh, your iPhone to DJ at a wedding? And uh, if you've got to DJ somebody's wedding or they just can't afford to have a DJ, you can use Pandora, Beats Music, or even just iTunes. But one of the other cool apps out there is an app called Cusick Lite. It costs $1.99 in the App Store. And um, what's cool about it is it gives you a bunch of different controls that those apps don't allow you to do. In fact, if I was to go in here and add some music, just click on that little wheel there. Let's see, if I add a bride and I add a track, now, I've actually got some playlists that are already organized, but you'd have to go back and do this in iTunes, or if you know the specific track you're looking for, you can do that. I'm going to go in here to Wedding March, and there's a track already waiting for me. And uh, let's go ahead and loading. This is all directly from my iTunes library. And I've got a slow in, slow out. Boom. Let's uh, go in and play this track. This has got a little bit of lead time on it. Notice it's got a little delay. A couple seconds here. And you get started. You can turn the volume up or down control from your phone. I'm going to pause that. The other thing I want to do is I'm going to go in here and make an adjustment because it started a little bit, actually started about four seconds in. So I'm going to go ahead and save it at four seconds here because I want to make sure that there's no delay when I hit the play button. So let's see if it's got a delay now. Yeah, perfect. And just right in to the song ready to be. Now there might be other songs that you want to play. Notice it fades out too at the end of it. There might be other songs that have lead times. You can't make that adjustment of lead time in pretty much any other app that's in, in the market at all. Uh, I can't really do that. And let's say then you're going to want to have some party tracks that you play later on or maybe some dinner music. I'm actually going to go down here and let's see. Let's pull some uh, dinner music in or you can pull in some party music, right? So let's put a couple dinner tracks in there. And let's go in and put a couple more. Go back to playlists. And let's put some get up songs, meaning people that when you get people up, how about some uh, brick house and celebration, right? So it's just adding all those tracks. It goes right into there. So let's say dinner and party now. Dinner, right? And so you want to have a certain number of songs that are in there. And then once you do that, you can, uh, you can put a few more tracks in waiting for you. OK, so now we got your dinner and party plus that. So let's say we got some dinner music. Let's put that on kind of quiet. There you go. We got a dinner jam, another dinner jam, another dinner jam. Pretty mellow, right? But then we want to change over to the party. I can just hit forward, crank up the volume, and hopefully get everybody up on the dance floor. So you can find a ton of different tracks about what people are playing. And for the most part, DJs are going to ask you what kind of songs you want to play anyway. So if you're pretty savvy and can pick your own music, you can do that right here on the app. It's a cool way to do it. But uh, one of the other cool features about this app that I really like is if you want, you can actually plug in um, a microphone or actually use your phone as a mic. So I'm going to grab in this. Uh, extra speaker and you can plug anything to this bad boy but uh, I like this set of speakers because it's just small and portable. It, one of the favorite ones that you can use at a wedding is like a Bose L1 or any type of big system. So you can actually turn it on. Let's make sure this comes on. Got to be plugged into something. And what will happen is when you actually turn this on, turn it over here otherwise it's going to be pretty loud. Hello test test check check test. Test hello hello test.